Hello and welcome, and in this video I'm going to be explaining why Auto Hotkey is just the greatest program ever. It's great for customization and accessibility because it allows you to make your own scripts that do lots of stuff. So I'll be showcasing a few of my scripts here, like this one. This says when I press Alt, Control, Alt, and X, it will type out all of those text and press Enter. So I drag over Discord here and go on to a private server where I can just test this. I've pressed Control, Alt, X, and it is typing out stuff for a giveaway I've been doing on a few servers. So I can make macros and automatic typings, typing and auto clickers, stuff like that. So that's very useful for that kind of things. This is an autocorrect for text language. So whatever I type, whenever I type the stuff between the colons, it will expand into the full version. or get smaller if you so wanted it to, so I've got this to add in the apostrophes for me, capitalize the I's, expand text language. This will be very good for school because it means I can type in text language at school and it will autocorrect into proper English. So I will run this now and test it out. There I've got U, expands into that. 4 expands into that. And this is completely customizable. So you can do this for whatever you want. I think somewhere on the internet a guy has made a complete autocorrect for this that can be used in any application. And that's quite cool. So I'll close the autocorrect for now. This one works like the last one did. When I press some certain buttons it will input the text into a game. So I use this for role-playing in Freelancer which I will open up now to show you how it works. So here for a demonstration when I press shift enter it'll open chat and type in General Torek which is one of my roleplay characters on the Discovery Freelancer roleplay server and I can type my message after that and fit in with the roleplay. Control enter and type in T Sunberg which is another one of my characters and Alt enter types in Andrew which is another character Andrew Sanderson. Another use for it is when you're stuck in a game and it's crashed but you can't get your mouse out of the window even if you hit the windows key and stuff so when the windows menu opens up you can search for what run chrome and it will run this simple thing which runs the website google.com that's useful because when you press the windows key even if you can't use your mouse you can write run chrome and it'll give you the script press enter and chrome will open up taking your mouse out of the window it's, it was stuck in. This, in theory, toggles hidden files on your system. I didn't write this code and I don't really know how it works. Now, on startup, I have this setup. When the computer boots up, startupprograms.ahk opens. And that will wait 30 seconds for the computer to orientate itself and start to wake up properly and they'll run Steam. They'll wait another 30 seconds and run Discord and then wait one second and it'll run the first code here, lock keys. It'll wait half a second, run remap hide and it'll run, wait another second and write multi clipboard and then it will run Dropbox in the background. It cuts back on a lot of the computer's stress at the start because it waits before opening all the programs rather than trying to open them all at once the moment you log in. 
So now I'll show you the code to these and then how that ties into these shortcuts and startup programs properly. The lock keys script is very useful. What this does is it disables the caps lock, the number lock and the scroll lock permanently setting their positions. So if I press the caps lock, the num lock or the scroll lock buttons now it won't toggle the function and that's very useful in games and stuff because that means I can assign the keys to do other stuff and always have it set in the right state for what I want. This one is two different programs that were combined. This top bit I didn't write myself, I downloaded it but I understand most of how it works. Basically what it does is when I press the left control and the now disabled caps lock button it will hide Google Chrome. Now that doesn't mean that it's minimized, that means it's completely hidden, it doesn't even appear on your taskbar. Taskbar, sorry. And when I press the left shift and caps lock, it will appear again. So, I think it is active right now. So, I will demonstrate. Google Chrome is open. Control caps lock, completely gone. Not even there. But then with shift caps lock, I can bring it straight back. And to prove that that wasn't me opening and reopening it, let's go on to a random website I visited recently. Close. Open. Very simple. Now the other thing that this code does is it remaps some of my buttons. I have a button that launches the calculator app on my keyboard which is launch app 2 and I've this remaps the key to F13. You can have up to 24 function keys so I thought why not just have some more function keys I can use for whatever I want. So now my calculator button acts as F13, my scroll lock button is F14, my media play pause button that plays and pauses media although it only works with Windows Media Player and the like so I never use it, that acts as F15, caps lock is F16, so I can assign caps lock to functions in games. The menu button, which is that weird one between the right alt and right control, I've remapped that to F17. And the divide and times buttons on the numpad, so I've set them to run the symbols. So the divided by button will do that, and the times button will do that pretty simple. This script I don't entirely understand but it gives me three different clipboards so I can copy and paste three different things at the same time. Not quite sure how this works but it does. So I have a clipboard for Control c and Control v I have one for Windows C and Windows V and I have one for Alt C and Alt V. So here if I get the word clipboard copy it under control C and get the word until copy it under Windows C and get the word old under Alt C. Now if I press all of the pace that was control V, Windows V, Alt V. Very useful indeed. Now all of those have to be ran as admin to work in any app which is where these shortcuts come in. So startup programs.ahk is running these shortcuts here, not the exe file. What those shortcuts do is they run a thing in task scheduler. So remap hide runs this here, multi clipboard runs this task here, and lock keys runs this task here. They are allowed to run with highest privileges, which means, well, it runs as admin without the pop-up box requiring you to click yes and no and all that jazz. And those run these as admin, like I just said.
like this one allows me to drag windows around by holding the alt key like in Linux so right now I'm holding down alt and I'm dragging it from anywhere I want it's not flawless it doesn't work on maximize windows but as you're about to see it works on full screen which is a bit of a problem so I don't use it anymore now we come to what I consider my masterpiece this allows me to make auto hotkey scripts on a computer that doesn't have auto hotkey installed this allows me to upload my .ahk script to Dropbox by the way the AHK script will be unusable on say a school computer and the home computer will recognize that files there and run it through the AHK to EXE converter so for the sake of demonstration because I'm sure that didn't make too much sense I have got my tablet open and the files ready to go so I, when this is running every two minutes it will double click on this shortcut running it right now it links to something that doesn't exist being remote.ahk in this folder here okay I've set it so when I open up this I'll have five seconds to react all the things are in place so remotely you'll place in code.ahk and remote.ahk via the Dropbox website and let's go yes it's working so it opens up the converter does that converts it and boom we're done here let's close that and open up here code.exe and now if I run that that opens up the exact code that I put into the AHK file so this allows me to make scripts remotely from anywhere provided that that loop is running on my computer so if I say delete remote.ahk then this shortcut won't do anything and then if I bring it back from the dead, which one is it? I don't even know. Uh, restore that one. Then when I run this, yet again, it does all of that. So that is Auto Hotkey in a nutshell. A very useful program. I really enjoy it. It's giving me a lot more options with my keyboard and with what I can do with my computer. I could probably make a bot to do a specific thing in a game if I so wanted. So yes, thanks for sticking around if you've made it this far into the video, which I doubt any of you have. Like if you like, subscribe if you want more, and that will be me for this video. See you guys, ice out.